Right now I'm going to repeat this process with an object slightly more complex. So I've got a pepper mill. Okay, this is something that crushes your pepper um, if you need to season your food. All right, so I'm going to start just like with the can of um, soda. I'm going to start in simplifying it. And I can do that if I'm not sure how to simplify it, if I just blur my eyes and look at the object, I'm going to see it closely resembling kind of a taller rectangle. Okay, and then at the top, I've got a trapezoid, but before I do that, I'm going to do my largest shapes first. Okay, and so I see I have a sideways oval. Okay, then I've got a trapezoid right here. Kind of curves in right here. A second oval shape, slightly shorter trapezoid, and then I've got a rectangle at the bottom. And then finally, where I turn the pepper meal, I've got a trapezoid at the top. Okay, so now it's simplified, it almost looks like some sort of robot. But then I'm going to go in and I'm going to adjust. So I'm going to use curving lines, taking my, 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 what I'm seeing step by step, breaking it down into shapes, thinking of what simple shape it reminds me of, adding more detail as I go, keeping my drawing at the same level of detail as I work my way through the drawing. Then I can fix these lines. I can curve out, go down, And then it looks more like my pepper mill, right? And then I would go in and later and erase these extra lines and shapes that I don't need anymore, okay? Including my outer rectangle, all right? You can also treat how light hits the object too when you're looking at the color. In, the, in this example, the color shifts from a maroon to almost a, a, a purple or a really, really dark maroon. So that shape, I could even mark out and block off where the light hits the object, but also where the shadows are. And that's going to help my object look more realistic. 